assistant that lost three thousand two hundred dollars <laughs> for mispronouncing Coolio's Gangsters Paradise. Oh my god! <laughs> poor dude. Do you think that's right? No, I don't think it's right. I think it's totally Hell ridiculous. No. Of course, because like you know what he meant. He should sue Gangster yeah. Gangster. He should sue because I think he got a case. Like there's, I can't not believe that they actually went and thought about that. It's pretentious, and then went back and un, and took and, the money back. Yeah. And, no, it's and over, not. And overturn their own decision to let it slide in the first place. It's like, not gangster. It's gangsta. It's gangsta. Uh, oh, come on. Like, now. what? Pat, like, you knew that, Pat. Uh, like, you be listening to Coolio, that's Pat, right. Jack. No, well, that's the wrong show. Don't, oh, what's wrong, it was the wrong show. It was Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Alex, does, Alex Alex. Trebek does the, do, does no, the, the judges. Be doesn't sense. he do the commercials for the home insurance? People with fixed incomes. He already <laughs> robbing the old people. <laughs> he does. <laughs> people with fixed incomes. You see what I'm saying? Now he robbing the contestants no, on no, the damn it show. Wasn't, it wasn't Alex. It was the it was the, the judges. 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 Yeah. But that is crazy. Gangster, gangster. It was uh, different uh, if it was a not different nigger. word. If it was a different word. <laughs> <nigger. laughs> <laughs> if, if there was a different if it was a different word, then that would be I would understand it, but it's not a different word. It's a different pronunciation of right, you know, the same, the same word. word with right. the same meaning. So there's a um, that's ridiculous. You know, you know, Shakespeare has a play. A it's like not potato, potato. It's potato. So we're gonna have to. Walk I was that just back. thinking that. <laughs> well, I, I watched Jeopardy. You know, Shakespeare has a show. A show. It's a show. He has a play <laughs> that he wrote called A Midsummer Night's like Dream. 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 Nice yes. Dream. Mm-hmm. Right. And that was an answer to a question. Somebody said, "A Midsummer's." Night, night dream. dream and they got it wrong because it's a midsummer night's dream. dream so they do sometimes really get technical about those but that's like a little bit that's still a little different it's a little because, bit different because it changes the meaning yeah. that's true of the sentence it's true because it's saying yeah it's true g- gangster and gangster is not changing the meaning at no, all no not at all at all it's the it's same all, it's it's clear you know what it is a, <laughs> it's, it's, the, a, it's the accent that's and all it is that's the other thing about it the, the accent part if you say a French word and you don't say it with the French accent do you get it taken off then if you say uh, Bochin instead of Bochon. Right, right. right. You know, exactly. they know you they're got opening the right up word. a serious can of worms. They did. Like, they opened, like, people going going back reviewing Jeopardy tape. <laughs> <gonna be> like, <laughs> For ages. Yeah, like, what? You didn't call it on this motherfucker right mm-hmm. here. Like, you know, you let this go. You know. They're going to get dragged. It's okay. God forbid somebody should come out with a speech impediment. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he, ain't making it, he ain't making it past the first round. That poor dude. Anyway. So hey, there's this new invention called eSight. I'm here for it. And it's like it's the basically it's what it's what to blind people as the cochlear implant is to deaf people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, uh we had uh we had Eli on last week with the uh and he has a cochlear implant. Mm-hmm. Now the the biggest difference is there's no surgery required for this. That's mm. the outside device you put up. That's the outside device. It's basically what they are are electronic glasses. Okay? It's it's a they have like Imagine these little superhero looking things, right? Like visor, something like um, like Jordy, Cyclops or Jordy, something like something like that, some futuristic like that. There's a camera in there, a little camera, and then the camera projects to to a screen for each eye, mm-hmm. uh, as, as the lenses, and uh, it projects a high def picture of the world around them. And but the the technology is really advanced, so it goes from seeing uh, like close up, like reading to mid-range sight to long distance sight like very the transition is very smooth and very quick so that it's like natural you know that's That's amazing yeah it's on its third generation i can't believe i'm just not hearing about this Mm because it's been around for for uh three there were two earlier prior uh versions versions of it and now uh, and the price is coming down technology is getting better and probably that's which is you know typical of technology Mm -hmm. but it's still super expensive uh they start off at like fifteen thousand. I wonder now they're they, down to like 10,000. I wonder if they'll eventually like upgrade so you can get like night vision. Oh. Ooh. And that was one of the questions I had. Like, cause I had, that's one of the problems I like. I hate when the the short days coming home, like, mm-hmm. you know, or even, it's even, even, even early in the morning mm-hmm. when I leave, it's just like, I, I missed my stop the other day. Cause I can't, I can't see it's so dark, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's a good question. Cause I actually have that question. I don't know if it, uh, if it, does have any if it does address that or not because many people with 2020 right. vision sometimes have difficulty seeing with at night, night night vision and yeah. you could that, that could be an, an enhancement mm-hmm. for uh other people with other just more acute yeah. Yeah. Uh, eye problems and it only right. works for people with low vision or uh visually impaired legally blind people people who are profoundly blind mm-hmm. or totally blind it, it does not work you mm-hmm. have to have some sight because it takes the sight that you do have and like magnify it's just like the cochlear implant because mm. the cochlear implant 
it doesn't work if you're like totally deaf. You have to have like some hearing, I believe. Um, I believe I might I might be mistaken mm-hmm. about that, but I, I think that. Uh, yeah, I think he. Whatever. I think when when he was here, he mentioned like if there's like usually if there's complete deafness, that means that there's like a disconnect, something is missing or something's not right. So you won't be able. You you physically just can't do it. Mm-hmm. Aside from like his particular thing was the sound. He he didn't have the fibers in his ear to carry the waves to his brain. So I guess where it would be something like that, where you can just have the surgery and have the thing put in opposed to when you just don't have the parts in there at all to even have to even go on. Right. 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 <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's very amazing. It's uh, already, it's been, like I said, been around for some time and it's already changing people's lives and it's, Really amazing. So if you or, you know, oh, don't don't let the cost deter you. Uh, if you are in need of this device or have a family member that could be helped with this device, do not let uh, the cost deter you. Call, look them up and call them. They have people, they have programs to help people uh, to make it affordable. They want everyone to be able to afford it. They Their mission statement is that, that everyone should be able to see. So they want to help everyone and they have uh, different programs. You have in, there's insurance that can take some of the costs away and there's different programs that help you um you know maybe even do uh some social media fundraising so there's a lot of different things that they do uh that and they have uh people there to help you with that so and if you can see now you can rob a bank <laughs> right <laughs> what Get all the money you it just don't need. make any sense I did, my own joke <laughs> fell flat I was, I was trying to <laughs> exactly. I had it fully formed in my head and it just came out mm-hmm. flat yeah you, 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 you'd have to have the money first <laughs> oh yeah that's true <laughs> that's part of the problem uh, other yeah, than it just not being one of your through. best jokes no. <laughs> brother didn't think well. that one through <laughs> Shit happens. Mm-hmm. you can do a lot of things though when you get your sight that is true yes yes indeed all right, so TV. We got some uh we got some new stuff coming out. It just came out. It's about to come out. Uh Sons of Anarchy was a big show. I was I was uh into that. That was one of my shows about a motorcycle club up in mm-hmm. Northern California. Um Sam Crow. And in that uh in that world, in that fictitious universe, they had another MC of a Latino motorcycle club called The Mayans. And they are getting their own spin-off called The Mayans MC. They've already, it's already been greenlit for uh, FX, which is the same network that brought us Sons of Anarchy. Awesome. By the same producers, Kurt Sutter and all that. So that's coming pretty soon. I'm I'm excited about that. I'm looking yeah, forward to that. Yeah, I have a, a friend of mine who loves SOA. And yeah. He was just talking to me about it the other day. He was like, oh, you don't watch it? You got to watch it. I, so. just finished, I just finished watching it again for the second time. Uh <laughs> I watched it when it first originally ran, and mm-hmm. I just watched, binge watched it like a couple months back. Right, and uh, uh, it, it it yeah, it's it's all of that. It's the same thing that he said. He it's said all, he watched it twice. So when yeah. I tell him about this, yeah. I think he's gonna be really excited about it. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's why fans are excited about this. They had a big cult following. So and then grown ish debut. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm interested to hear what Pip. I already know what uh, Dejan felt about it. She hit mm-hmm. me up on on. Uh, Facebook when I can't uh, help it. People, <laughs> I didn't watch it. No oh, okay, you haven't seen it yet. Mm-mm. Okay, so. I haven't seen any. The only thing new television I've seen in the last two weeks, I saw the new Will and Grace and the new Good Place. And that's oh, it. Man. I yeah. love the Will and Grace too. So uh, yeah, so Grownish came out. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't like it all. A lot of people got in their feels about my post, and I, I figured my post. Was, I toned it down. It was pretty it diplomatic was pretty in, in my in my opinion. I basically just said that, you know, I just finished watching the first two episodes of Grownish and they they need some work, need a lot of work. Mm. Okay. Well, the first season mm. of Different World, a sp- college spinoff of a family show, they threw all that out for the second season and did a completely different show that worked and great. Yeah, it did. So sometimes you got to get your a lot of shows, out. a lot of shows are like that. That's true. That they just they, you know, I think especially with spinoffs, you got to like because you 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 usually it's coming from building off the other show. And you're like, no, we got to do a, our own show. Oh, Parts yeah. and Recreation was kind of a kind of a spinoff of The Office. It wasn't really a spinoff of The Office, right. but they tried to be like The Office. First season yeah. it was terrible. Second season, they came back as their own thing. And it worked for them. Yeah. <clears throat> for the life of me, I can't figure out why they would not slot it on ABC following black. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. The lead in. Like, why would you, would, you, why would you take away that natural lead in to right. help this new show out? That's a spinoff. Like, and I understand that once it gets its, 
its own following, own footing, whatever. Then you break it off and let it lead other stuff in. Right. But why would you start and on a totally different network? And I'm not even sure if that network fits in with what they're. But see, I was gonna think isn't that isn't it, isn't this network though you aimed at a younger demographic? And I think that that's the way. Like young people watch their TV different than other. Like I'm I might be I'm most likely knock on wood moving very soon. Mm-hmm. And where I'm moving, I'm not gonna have cable, and I don't plan on getting cable probably ever again. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna watch everything online. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, watch yeah. streaming mm-hmm. so I, that's how most young people watch stuff now too so it doesn't have to be on cable or network tv so maybe that's they're true. thinking that's like oh true. we're going after young audiences where they watch this is where they watch content we'll do it that way well they can still but see that's the thing even if it comes on abc they can still stream it true that but so why would you basically cut yourself off from that built-in audience that i think they're have. trying to build an audience for that channel network that's what I, I was going to say. I know that. Okay. <laughs> and I know what you're saying. Like, why make that? May, why make this the lead when you could put it in this? You you, you throw it in this big, big where they where the big boys are playing, and it could be it could grow up to be very mm-hmm. well. right. And then take it and put it over there. Right. Once right. you've already got the following, like, but right now it's like it's new. It's struggling. It's you know it's going to struggle. That's that's just my opinion. But I mean, I feel like it's going to struggle because I don't. I think like I said, it needs it needs a lot of work. I don't think. First of all, I don't think it know what it knows what it wants to be. It's kind of it, it, there's some part I don't think I don't like Charlie on there. Charlie from the original uh, Blackish, mm-hmm. the the uh, co-worker of Dre. Yeah, Dion Cole. Yeah, he's he's on there. I love Dion Cole. And I do too. I oh, he's like, a teacher, right? I love Charlie. And yes, he is a professor. Does he take a shirt off on there? And it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. He's 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 a professor supposedly of marketing, and they're in class and they're talking about the first day, and he's just talking about drones. He's like this whole and it's so it it kind of. Feel slapsticky that part of it, but is his shirt then, off? No, his shirt no, is not off, off. motherfucker. Oh, Deion's class. Not, Deion's clothes <laughs> not fit. Deion, he's just sexy. He's cute. <laughs> Stay on topic. Damn, I am on topic. <laughs> I like Deion. Check Cole. your home. Check your hormones. <laughs> I like the show. But, I thought that the show was um, rough around the edges. I thought the show that was very rough around it, but I thought that the content was very, very good. I loved uh, following her on her new journey, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen with her. And I think that they kind of set that up very well. I do think that it's a little, it's definitely a little bit rough around the edges, but I like that it's on a fresh new network. It's a fresh new show. It's on a fresh new network. Not only that, it may still be available on Netflix or all these other streaming. I don't know if, you know, this new network may be like a sister company of ABC or something like that. So it's, it not, is. it's only like it two, is. two media companies. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. They basically they everything. Own, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But so, yes, it's owned by ABC. So I think that that's probably like where they're thinking of, you know, they're trying to, to, uh, gain some new, new, uh, fans for their new channel, as well as maybe, you know, gain some new fans for this show. And I think that that was like a very, very good idea because I never watched blackish. Never watched it on ABC, but I watched Grownish on this new network that it's on, and I watched both episodes so far. So I'm you in? I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, I'm not in at all. Uh, I mean, she took she was taking Adderall. She was taking Adderall to do her homework. I'm so in on this show. Like I gotta see if she can get (laughs) off Adderall. I gotta see if she gonna shake it. I gotta see. Yeah, it's like I said. It's it's there's some issues. It and then besides the it being having a slap a slapstick aspect of it the whole charlie thing just does not work for me at all you just like, don't like Dion, the Dion cole character i like Dion cole and i like his character it does I, not fit in this show in this world and and, and and the way that they're using him if they wanted to use him as like a traditional professor maybe then i could maybe see it. but and the class is at midnight what the fuck who ha- what college has a class at midnight about drones get the <laughs> fuck out of here that is so slapsticky that's like okay so are you a slapstick comedy or are you like a straight up sit come comedy or what because that is definitely slapstick but then the rest of it wasn't slapstick and then we're on this journey with her like you said which is cool and i like that but why is it past tense like she's narrating past tense so she has this omniscient view of everything that she has already experienced and she's telling us about it and so instead of us living it going and experiencing it with her as she experiences it we're finding out about it in the past as she tells us about it and we're not seeing it unfold. We're listening to it un- 
un- listening to her explain it to us. I didn't find that. So, and I also didn't find her her class to be in the in the nighttime. I think maybe that particular assignment they had to do something no, in the nighttime. No, but no, even in the second no. episode, she had to be at class in the morning time, you, and it was the Dion Cole class. So I'm not exactly sure on that. I would have to go back and rewatch, uh, maybe watch rewatch that first episode. But said I'm pretty that the, pretty sure. She-